Welcome to What Would Jeff Do? Um, today I actually have my daughter videoing for me, so this will be a great help. And besides, my arm is never long enough. Uh, I want to talk a little bit, first off, about this bandsaw blade. I bought a brand new bandsaw blade, hook tooth, three teeth per inch, and I trashed it in five inches of cut. I hit a nail that was embedded in a log about an inch and a half below the surface. So I'll, I was uh, watching another YouTube video where a guy was taking these um, diamond impregnated burrs from the little uh, sanding burrs from, for your Dremel tool. So I bought a pack of five off Amazon and I did this whole blade, uh, 111 inches, so 333 teeth in about 20 minutes. Here's the one I used and here's a brand new one. You can see there's a, enough life left in this. I can probably do it one more time if, when I need to. I'm gonna say when. So anyway, just a little uh, tip on that. And all I did is when I sanded, I just went in here and just got right inside the, the bottom of the hook and I just rolled right off the top. Tried not to hit the, the, the tip and I just kept doing that. But what I did is I actually started from the bottom and I rolled up this way and then I kept pulling the blade up with that hook. And I would just go in like this, grab the hook and come out. And then I just, actually use the Dremel tool to advance the blade. Um, it worked really good. The only thing I did is I did, I cut a slot in a piece of wood so when I was doing this it would have a backing and stay side to side. So I just took a piece of wood about this long, I cut a slot in it and slid that in and that way the back of the blade hit the back of the slot and I just clamped it in here and it just kept it stable. Anyway, it worked really good. Um, just wanted to shout out for that. So here's what I've done today. I've actually, this is my, uh, my basic sled. I use screws, not very long, to hold my log. And this is actually Russian olive that I took out of my shelter belt. So here's what I was cutting out. And uh, as you can see, the blade works very well. Yes, you will see some teeth marks, but it's sanded out with just my orbital sander. So just a shout out for that. and. Uh, the finished project, take you to that over here. We're just about ready to put some oil on, so my wife wanted one of these cutting boards. So that's what I made her. And we're just gonna do a little quick. I like to use the white mineral oil. I've, uh, I've heard of other things you can use, like a salad bowl finish, but I like this stuff. I use it on rolling pins and anything that is food grade and I actually bought this whole gallon off of Amazon too as you can see it really brings out the nice grains in the wood and Russian olive actually behaves and acts a lot like walnut and uh, I like it uh, you have the yellow bark that you will get a lot of times on the outside some places show it a lot more than others, which is really nice. And you start sanding down the bark, it actually looks like walnut right there. But it really gives it a nice color when you use this, just this white mineral oil, food grade mineral oil. Buy it by the gallon, and like I said, I use it on cutting boards, rolling pens. Um, really works good. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like my channel, and uh, have a great day.